those days are long, long gone. So, and here we go. Here we come. Magnus Carlsen with the white pieces against the young Pragnananda. Quick I'm prediction. Quick prediction because you know oh. he can play. It. No, he can play everything. E4, D4, uh, C4. E4, D4. K4. D4. D4, C4. It's a guesswork. It is way. guesswork. And, oh, he faces his knights towards his king. Interesting. That's uh, something that Kukesh that. also does. Uh, I always had the knight face to the opponent. E4. Well, that's by test. Okay, uh, what do you think from Fragonanda? C5, E5. E5 has been uh, the rage for so long yes. these days. It's just like everybody, everybody has been uh, picking up I E5. I see the bishop come out to C4. Yes, I got that one right. right. I've been wrong with all my other predictions. I'm and very happy there. And Choco Piano, no, no uh, two knights defense. Knight F6. Knight F6 now. Here's uh, the moment, because we've been seeing h6 and g5, which is really mm, a gambler's choice, I would say. Mm -hmm. d7, d6, and that does encourage these bishop g5 lines. And Eight. Okay, not, six. A, not a5, but a6. A4. a4. Bishop is going back to a7, which is just a precautionary move. Just anticipating that white will eventually break in the center with a d3, d4. I think for a lot of people in the audience, uh, the move bishop a7 is simply perplexing. Uh, the bishop is not being attacked yet, and you would think to yourself, well, let white make the commitment of attacking my bishop. Let me play the useful move castles or h7, h6. The only thing I can say about the move bishop a7 is really these players have put this position through engines, and I mean cloud-based engines that are really extraordinarily strong, and the moves bishop a7 do get pre-approved by their preparation. h2, h3, all very, very standard stuff. Um, nothing's happened yet. We're going to keep an eye on this game. Um, Nasi, over to you.
to say bishop f5, no bishop d3s, no bishop c4s, no knight d6s, queen b3 by Magnus says, yeah, I'm a pawn grabber too. I want to take this pawn. Queen takes uh, b4 on my agenda. And yes, I am still looking at knight d6. By the way, this rook on a8 uh, remains on a8. Time a factor in this one. Oh, most certainly. We see Pragnanda, he's got one minute and 40 seconds Ooh. on the clock. Whereas Magnus, you know, he the has three minutes and 20 seconds. So the clock times are definitely going to be playing a factor here, especially because the position is so important. Yes. Uh, Queen b3, now see, jump in. Well, just, uh, you can't jump in that, but was Bishop f4 approved? Engine approved? It's not a bad move, but uh, he did have something stronger. Which was? Which was bishop to d7, and after queen b4, bishop to c6, and defend the pawn from that diagonal with the ideas of f5, if necessary, to never give up the e4 pawn. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the current not, move. Not an easy move to make, that shift, because you've already committed yourself a little bit with bishop f5, but bishop f4 was his choice. And uh, for Magnus, should he just be eating the pawn on He can B4? take on b4, he can play knight d6. Probably queen b4, what's the rush with knight d6, right? Indeed, let's uh, let's pick up the pawn. Queen takes b4 and asks the question, Is do you think um, Prague played the move bishop f4 with the intention of playing e3? What? I mean, it's... <laughs> I think it's he played it sharp. with the intention of just liberating the rook. Um, it's that so kind of like move, you know. before rook to d8. I and, and also, it's no harm in forcing Magnus to calculate e3 at every possible move. That is true. Two minutes versus a minute and a half. Queen takes b4 if you do play um, rook to d8, which I understand. Queen takes b4 played. And queen d7 came very, very quickly. Um, I've always got this knight to d6, I wanted to say. Against rook d8, my intention would have been to play knight to d6 and say, you better give up this bishop. And, well, I'll take it. Two bishops open position feels like advantage. White did not happen. Queen d7, up to date. And again, for those of you who are joining this late, uh, Prague is in a tie for third, uh, just behind Magnus and our tournament. Uh, co-leader as well, Wei Yi, who is having uh, a storybook time here. We have trades. I have oh, an update in the game. Wei Yi. Yeah, Knight E6 has been played. And the, you do see on the camera that Magnus and Pragnananda, they're just simply shuffling the pieces. And draw. a draw is going to be agreed between the two. Yep, here you go. Handshake. Wow. Wow. And... Uh, this